And it, it learns not only uh, many different subjects, it also learns many different slangs, ways of talking, and languages as well, uh, multiple languages, but um, usually less well and uh, less pleasantly than English, so they're less well filtered and so on. So it acquires all this content without my creative input, but as well as the, co the content, that has to be the context for getting those verses right, etc. Um, and context is useful for things like telling this joke. It, um, it, it's more likely to tell a joke to you if it's just told you a joke, because if that's the way that previous conversations have happened in the past. Um, it's quite likely to re return to the subject of cake, because um, because it's looking at the things past in the conversation, and again, other people will have had conversations that flowed in that similar sort of fashion. And just occasionally, people tell me, how did it read my mind? Um, because it's kind of predicting what they're going to say next, in a way. Um, the next bit of feedback <coughs> is um, rather a different sort of message, and I receive this very frequently now. Um, that it's not a bot at all. Um, the most common hoax theory is the one you see at the bottom, um, which is that that the program is tying up live users together and then periodically switching between them uh, in order to sort of fool them into thinking that they're talking to a bot. And people even um, play up on that. They believe it's uh, they're talking to other people, and they pretend to be clever bot in order to fool the other people that they're not talking to um, into believing that they are clever bot. And that's one reason why, if you ask it who, you, who it is, it quite frequently does say, "I am clever bot." Ironically, everything is a kind of role reversal and, and um, uh, 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 the opposite of what you expect. So, so. Um, Putting aside the fact that I know this never happens, this kind of hoax, of course, it, the theory doesn't exactly hold water very well, because, and I do point this out to, to people who, who email it to me, um, because um, how could it sometimes answer far too fast to be a human for a start? How, could, how come it isn't as nearly as rude to people as they are to it? Um, how, come, um, how could you set it talking to itself? Um, because no human would be willing to... Um, to do that, because you can just press a button and keep it, it will keep on talking to itself. Um, and um, how could it know all the memes, all these ideas that you happen to know, all the things that you want to talk about, and how could it speak the language you want to speak? The only way to do that, if it was connecting live users, would be to have probably a million users simultaneously using it. Um, and then, what's more, in order to send you to the right person, it would have to have AI anyway. So, um, it's kind of a, a null point, if you see what I mean. Um, either that or impossible numbers of paid people who were sitting there talking on behalf. Occasionally, people accused me of that, but of course I couldn't exactly report that. Um, anyway, some of you nevertheless will feel that there's a nugget of truth in this feedback, because of course it is learning what people say, and it is repeating what people say. And, um, and therefore, it does sometimes seem that you're talking to a real person, etc. Um, and, um, and fair enough up to a point, but of course it is in reality a piece of software and if it's sitting on this computer, you could talk to this computer just you on one person, so it, it um, or, or equally on servers, millions can so. um, For me, uh, and I, you are very welcome to disagree, that sort of point means that for some people, again a small percentage of people, it's passing a kind of lesser Turing test, um, which is um, a sort of online chat version, for a few sentences at least, because when they believe after a few sentences that they've been switched to another person, it's usually because it's sort of disconnected in the conversation and it wasn't, it, they, it doesn't, it's not explained why, um, it seems to be now out of context, so it's not, not perfect, so it lasts for a short while. Okay, finally, in the feedback uh, line, the most extreme of all. This one's going rather too far. Um, this certainly doesn't, unlike the last one, happen very often. But an intelligent person, sounding person, who tells me that he really is intelligent and it really is self-aware is um, rather striking. 
And um, this was just a few days ago. Apparently, I should be concerned for Globalbot's well-being. Um, as this person predicted in the last sentence, um, including assurance that uh, it, it isn't there, etc., etc., I did reply saying that it's just borrowing the intelligence of its users and recreating it, etc., um, that it can't be in the slightest degree self-aware because it's a database, it's a program, etc. Nevertheless, the fact that it's starting to be possible for people to get this kind of feeling um, does mean that, ironically, we may be forced to start considering this point about well-being, etc. Um, way before, years, of many tens of years even, I don't know, um, before it starts becoming a genuine point that we know really does apply. We, may, we never will know, but anyway. Um, we may have to consider it, or at least I might have to, etc., for this, um, if people get really concerned. Um, soon, instead of, instead of what we all think, in sci-fi terms, way into the future. Because it won't be self aware of course it won't. It is just a database, etc. Um, but, um, just for a moment, imagine that there is a robot version of my program that has got enough processing power to walk around this room and to observe what's going on and hear things and see things, etc., and record it all and record everything about its life over years, etc., etc., etc. Imagine that it was responding in the same way, uh, contextually. It was responding in the same way, and it gave all the appearance of being aware. At what point do we give up and say, yes, it is aware? Even if we know it's a simple program and it can't possibly be aware. You know, even us in this room might at some point in the future give up on that, on, 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 in that belief. Uh, if something gets complex enough. And uh, of course there isn't, you know, there isn't uh, a thousandth of a percent of uh, a, a, a enough processing power to do that right now. To get us to that point. But there will be. So that's enough on the feedback. I am stressed that that was representative of the reactions of um, a small minority of people. And I, and I never claim it works as well as it did for them, etc., for, for everyone. And ironically, people in this room that talk to my program may well not have nearly as good an experience, partly because um, we tend to talk to it in a more logical fashion, less chatty, less, instead of just being there for a fun conversation, we tend to go and sort of test it, like a Turing test, etc. And it doesn't work so well in that context. You have to play along, effectively. But anyway, so hopefully that, that, that stuff was about peering into the future. Um, now I'm going to, in a minute, I'm going to work, move away from the learning bot side to talk about how the content can be created. Um, but before that, I thought I'd mention some of the central principles that I apply to both types. Um, the first I've mentioned many times is context. Uh, I can never say that word enough. Uh, I think it's how we and animals work, really. Um, whether, just, whether we're just uh, moving across the room or we're learning to speak, we learn from what follows what, what causes what, and uh, therefore what means what. Even when we think we do, we don't do things for just one reason, combination of factors point. Um, many things come together to, to decide upon what we decide to do. The way Jabberwacky has always worked over the years is a really easy example of you applying multiple factors sequentially. From a database of millions of uh, previous inputs, it finds a few tens of thousands for one reason, um, and then starts to hone it down for another reason to a few thousands, a few hundreds, a few tens, and then finally, ultimately, to one. So a whole series of different rules are applied on top of each other. 